Uh, so um, I'm going to start up by just converting a number of standard reports from uh, 2009R2. So in this example, you only need to fill out three things. Uh, so first is the table definition that you need to export from uh, the new version that you want to uh, to target. Uh, as Jan said, you can also use a web service uh, in here. But in this case, I just exported all my tables into this text file tables txt, uh, which I use here. And then I have taken a number of uh, classic reports and exported them to old txt, and uh, the target is new txt. Um, otherwise, there's a number of options you can set, but this is uh, uh, this is what you need to get started. So I press convert in here, uh, and you can see that conversion is done really fast. And if I look at the log, you can see I converted a number of the uh, well-known uh, NAV standards uh, reports, uh, including invoice and credit memo. Um, and of course, if there's changes to business logic, and if you go uh, a, a, a long way back into the NAV versions, there might be changes to the business logic. And just like when you were transformed uh, forms to pages, you need to up upgrade that business logic. But in this case, uh, the business logic is the same, so we are actually able to, to run the report without any changes. Um, but let's move to, uh, to Seaside and import the text file I just created. Um, inside. NAV, I just need to remove go to meeting. Uh, and you can see if I go into the sign that uh, all the columns are in here, so we have a data set just like uh, RDLC and Word Report has uh, in here with all the columns. Uh, and if we go into the code, you can see that uh, all the code from the classic report is in here. Uh, the only thing that you, you can see in the standard trigger is that we, we put in references to our components, which is what's uh, makes things happen, uh, but this, this is three lines of code in uh, on any report, on pre-report and post-report. Uh, if you go further down, uh, you can also see that uh, the section code has been transformed into uh, to functions in AL. <laughs> That's because uh, modern NB uh, does not support section logic, uh, but we do uh, in order to support all the constructs of show output and, and group totals and transport totals. So you see that your code is all in here, uh, and you can also add, add new code, of course, uh, to the to the section logic, uh, including all the expressions in here to uh, control show output. If we go further down, uh, you will see that uh, there's some auto-generated code that we provide, uh, and that's in order to uh, to do uh, totals in NAV, uh, which is not supported anymore. So again, we we had to add our own functionality to do that. But uh, you should not worry about this code. This is auto-generated, and uh, you shouldn't touch it uh, or worry about it. It's just there to make a report run. Um, but enough about this. Let's go out and uh, actually try the, to run the report. Uh, so I need to compile it first, and I run it. Um, and you can see in here that the uh, request uh, form has been transformed into uh, Request form has been uh, transformed into a request page, uh, and if I do preview in here, uh, you can see that the viewer comes up really fast uh, with the uh, with the report in here. Um, and since we render everything on the server, uh, we don't have the overhead that RDC has in terms of memory and also time to copy everything across a wire. Uh, we only copy a very small snip of code between the uh, uh, the server and the clients, which enables us to, to render really fast and well, without any of the memory issues that RDSE has. For now is here to help you with reports. We're ready to talk. Are you? 